Race has always been there. People need to see that. Instead of ignoring it and trying to be like, there's no segregation, there's no slavery. It's still here though, and people need to know. The film, I'm Not Racist, Am I? Follows 12 New York City high school students over nine months as they participate in exercises and sometimes difficult discussions that directly address the bias they deal with on a daily basis. One kid said to me that, like, oh, I thought all Asians are supposed to be smart, like, what's wrong with you? Not in theaters. The film is being shown exclusively to groups of young people and their parents. The film's director, Catherine Wigginton Green, says parents tend to find the film especially challenging. They are really seeing that, you know, kids maybe are going to dances or have friends with kids who are a different race. And so they think, oh, they just have it all figured out. But what we realized in making the film is that kids don't, and they're not talking about it with their families. The film has been screened repeatedly at Woodrow Wilson High School, a large multicultural public school in Washington, D.C. Principal Kimberly Martin says her students needed to see it. From the first day that I was in this school, I could not believe that there are classrooms that are all African-American or all Latino, and then there are classrooms that are all white. Student James Sorokin agreed that a diverse school population does not necessarily translate to racial integration. I think that, um, um, honestly, like, white kids hang out with white kids here and black kids hang out with black kids generally. The film convinced student Amilcar Hudson that talking about racial issues like self-segregation is the best way to address them but he acknowledges that talking about race remains a challenge. I, mean, I think that's the scariest part about it. I understand that there's a racial problem in this country, but the fact that people don't really feel comfortable talking about it means that we're almost subconsciously satisfied with it and we're okay with this going on. I understand it's so hard to hear that you are inherently racist because of the, something you can't control, but isn't it worse to hear that you are less than people inherently because of the color of your skin. Students at Wilson High have formed a group called Common Ground to encourage interaction and discussion among students of different cultural backgrounds. Jeff Custer, VOA News, Washington.